Serious, people who have slept with their boss for a promotion, raise, was it worth it? Hi reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will call your boss. I slept with a camp director and she gave me a good job as a camp counselor. I had a higher salary than all the other counselors. Would do it again in a second. I'm not sure this counts, though, because the iron law of summer camp is that everyone on staff is boinking everyone, all the time. Hell, the 16 year old me got to third base at camp, and if you'd known me then, you'd understand how big a statement that is. Where does one apply for a job at those camps you're talking about? Every overnight camp is like this. Difficulty. You have to be an actual honey teenage, college age person. Being that one 36 year old dude will not get you laid, no matter how many times you offer to buy beer. And you do technically have to do some occasional child care work. The trick is, your campers are only in serious danger when they stop screaming. The trick is, your campers are only in serious danger when they stop screaming. Parenting 101. If the baby's crying, it's not a crisis. When I was 18 I was part time running food at a really high end Italian restaurant. After shifts ended everyone went to the bar next door and got it faced every night. One of the managers was a 24 year old blonde that I really had a thing for. After a night at the bar we were loaded and she said I could crash at her place. So I went and one thing led to another, we fricked and I took a cab home. The next weekend when I had shifts the managers called me in. Because they fired the bartender and, because I'm very hard working that I'm going to fill his position. Maybe not an office promotion story, but I was making a couple hundred more a night bartending than bussing. I slept with my boss. We were all out having drinks and were sharing a cab. She told the con driver to just drop both of us off at her place and I gladly went with it. I transferred to another department shortly thereafter. Because we both agreed it was weird now. Unbeknownst to me, I was giving a raise and a new title when I transferred. I always thought of it as a reward for being discreet. I had ex with her, because she was a hot older woman. The raise I got later was unexpected. It seems to me like the men that sleep with their bosses have far more positive experiences than the women. I slept with my boss, got a raise, and now I'm married to him. It was a good life choice. I slept with my boss and ended up quitting the job before she could give me any sort of promotion, mostly, because we were moving towards having a relationship and I didn't want that power dynamic to muddy it. Was it worth it? Quitting your job I mean. Yes. That job was just that, a job. Not a career. I've since moved on to a better opportunity. A job. Not a career. This is a key distinction. I worked a lot jobs in, and around college, mostly service industry, where sleeping with co-workers, bosses, employees was pretty common, no big deal. But in a career position, it's much more risky and complicated. Seriously, if I fricked the manager of McDonald's while I'm a cashier, who honestly cares? What would she do? Promote me to drive through duty. Force me out so I'd have to resort working at Burger King. God forbid. Saw one of the most top rated comments a guy slept with his boss while he was a lifeguard. A seasonal job in most places. Not really what I was expecting to read about in here lol. Pretty awesome. She sat on my face, and I got 3 bucks more an hour to lifeguard the local pool. Best summer job I ever had. Every lifeguarding job I've ever worked, everyone was sleeping with everyone else, bosses included. Lifeguards are just pretty as frick. I joke that I fired my ex-wife so I could frick her. She fricked me in the end. And half the town. I'm sad. I slept with my boss at the time, and we secretly hid our relationship for several months. In the end, he told his superiors that we were together and it was he that ended up getting the promotion and raise. He was taken away from being my direct supervisor, so our relationship could be out in the open. We were married 4 years later. When I was just 18 I had just come out of high school, and I desperately needed a job. I was able to get a job that pays $12 an hour at some guy's small business. The catch is I had to sleep with him. 
That money was great, but it was really awkward whenever I saw him. I needed the money though, so I would do it again. Boss here in education. I slept with one of my workers. Eventually it moved to a serious relationship and I helped him get a job at his dream engineering firm. Now we're planning on getting married smiley face no regrets. Best decision of my life. Kinda relevant. I had an FWB who was the manager at a store that opened in our town. And I think that had something to do with me getting hired. No experience whatsoever. It was generally a nice experience. I got a ton of special treatment and a couple free lunches. It also didn't hurt that he was in the closet, and I'm sure he appreciated my discretion. Currently sleeping with my boss. We work at a bar. He manages and I cocktail waitress. He's working on his mechanical engineering degree, eventually, and looking for a new job, and I just got out of active duty so this is both a temporary job for us and we'll both be quitting within the next year. Aside from a free meal while on my shift, usually we get 50% off, but he just comps it. I haven't really gotten extra benefits. Obviously I'm only dating him for the free meals. And peanuts. Been dating for 3 months now. Does anyone at work know? Do they care? Two of our close work friends know. They don't care and they said they couldn't tell at all that we were dating. Slept with my boss. She wasn't hot, but cute and I had never been with a curvy girl before. We left a company award ceremony and had a long drive back to our branch to half HRS. Well long story short she ended up giving me road head and we pulled over to Frick. It was fun and we continued our relationship for about 6 months. It ended when she was promoted to regional manager, because she was always traveling to different branches. Never got a raise nor a new position. I got to brag to my buddies though. You could have been promoted to assistant to the regional manager, at least. She wasn't all that bad looking. I didn't get a raise, but it got her so far off my back, because she was afraid of the consequences. She hated me before, she was terrified of me after the fact. It was beautiful. I didn't do anything for the rest of the summer. Also, it helped that I was 17 and she 32. She hated you so much she fricked you? That sounds like a fantasy. Bit of a story for me. Girl just returned home from being an air hostess for a few years. Got a job at my work. Tele customer services. Everyone bangs everyone in CS. She was school friends with my boss so, we saw a lot of each other. We got on well. Started sleeping with each other. She moved into her own home and asked me if I'd join her. Foolishly, I said yes. Six months later, using her connection with her friend in the company, she got a promotion and new job role in training and HR. Tiny bit more money, but more importantly, she was now my boss. Um, you can see where this is heading. Another six months later, we started to have some issues and agreed that we should work at it. It was, for my part, the fact that we were together 24 hours a day made me feel a little suffocated. From her point of view, I wasn't ambitious enough. She told me to go for jobs I didn't want to do in the company, because it looks better for us. Anyways, a little resisting her urges for company promotion and my own plan to go to university part time, to study for my dream job, everything seemed to get better. Then, it stopped being better. We drifted even though we were still together constantly and after deciding to give it one last go, she dropped a cannonball on me. She told me she had been sleeping with not only her boss, but with the company director and a co-worker. I asked how she could do this, it boiled down to that she did it, because she wanted to, without regard for me, just to progress her career. Rest assured my world crumbled. I was embarrassed at so many things. Being cheated on by your girlfriend is one thing. Being cheated on by the person you share a home with another. Being cheated on by a co-worker is something too. But being cheated on by your boss with members of the same company. Um. After we broke up I tried to continue working at the same place. But it became very clear that she wanted me gone and twice went to her boss to find a way to get rid of me. I found this out from our mutual friend years later. I couldn't take it anymore and quit. I went numb for 4 years after that. 
went to that bottom of that barrel everyone talks about. I was low, very low. I felt completely lost and alone with my troubles. I had no idea where to go, what to do and thinking like this was just my fault. Deal with it. I lost a good job and a bad girlfriend. I gained around 100 pounds. I cloistered up socially. I thought that I was weak to need help for feeling a bit down that this is something you can't ask for help to deal with. No one cares. This went on 4 years. I remember genuinely thinking that everyone around me would have their life improved if I was simply dead. I was diagnosed with depression and social anxiety with suicidal tendencies. But, things are getting better for me. I've lost 84 pounds of the 100 pounds I put on in the last 18 months. I have Ray signed up to finish my degree in September of next year. I volunteer regularly at a local mental health charity that helped me during my problems. Anyways, I just realized how much I typed so I'll end it here. Don't sleep with anyone you work with. It can't only potentially ruin your job, it can ruin your life. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will call your boss.